What's going on YouTube Warriors Zorno here and you're watching The Warrior Show. Glad to have you here and I hope you enjoy. As many of you know, the NBA Finals are going on right now as we speak, so I thought it'd be a really cool idea to make today's video to have to do with basketball, and that's exactly what we're going to do, if you haven't noticed already. A few days ago, I was walking through my local dollar store, and I came across these foam basketballs. And it brought back to mind the days as a kid where I would buy those little hoops that you can hang on your wall or in your room or anywhere really, have a shot or two and go along with your day. And I thought, I really enjoyed that, so I'm going to bring that back. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. I drew up a design on SketchUp, we're going to go ahead, check it out, head to the CR10, print it out, and then we're going to hit a few three-pointers. But before we move to the computer and check out our design, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Ziltec. Ziltec is a company that has provided me with several rolls of 3D printing filament and I couldn't recommend them more. Their precision is great, their accuracy is great, and their colors are amazing. There's a link in the description as well as my promo code WARRIORZOINO exclamation point where you'll get 15% off the entire store. As we said earlier, we're going to be 3D printing a basketball hoop, so I thought it'd be fitting to print our hoop in orange. And I think it's the perfect orange for that as well. A lot of cool projects we can do with this color, and I think today's a perfect example of that. So yes, the hoop we're going to be printing in orange, as well as the box that's on the backboard, is going to be done in orange as well. And the backboard we're going to have done in blue, and I really like this blue. I think it's really cool. It looks like deep and dark, but at the same time, it's really bright. So I like this blue a lot, and you'll see it way better when we start printing something. So without any further ado, let's head over to the computer and check out our design. Here we have the backboard portion of our basketball hoop. And the first thing you'll notice is all the triangles that I have punched out inside this plate. And that is in efforts to save some plastic and possibly some printing time. We'll see how it comes out when we go to printing. Here I left out a recessed portion for the box that will go in. The box is a separate piece that will be done in the orange. And this will be done in the blue. As you can see, I have these cutouts up here that will leave the space for the thumbtacks. That's that's the plan. I mean, if you could put nails, screws, whatever you have available, you could put whatever you have into your wall and I'll have two of those so you can just put both of them in, hang it up and you'll be good to go. And now this rectangular section that I have punched out, this will be where the hoop, the mounting hardware for the hoop goes inside. Hopefully we can just put some glue inside here and slip the hoop in. Speaking about the hoop, let's go ahead and get that up. So here's the hoop. It's just a simple ring or a torus, I believe the correct term is. Uh, then as you can see, this is the rectangle that I was talking about that should just slide right into this rectangular uh, slot. Now the box for the backboard that we were talking about earlier is right here. So this is just a simple plate that we should be able to put some glue behind and hopefully just slip right in and it should be good to go. And last but not least, we have the C-clips. These C-clips I have designed to fit around the rim of the basketball hoop where they can clip on and hopefully hold the net that I plan to put across the rim. And these should hopefully do the job without using too much glue or any glue at all. So that's all the designs that I have for today. So let's go ahead back to the 3D printer and start printing them out. We're back at the 3D printer. I've gone ahead and loaded up the blue filament as well as the file for the backboard. So that's gonna be the first part that we're gonna print. I believe Coors said it's gonna take about eight to 10 hours, so it's gonna be one of those longer prints, but lucky for you guys, with the help of Movie Magic, it's gonna take about 30 seconds. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Perfect, and here we are, a nice 
plate. Nice backboard. I really like the way it turned out. I think it's thin, but it's also strong enough to do the job that it needs to do. A little bit of shading incurred as it does with all 3D prints, but that's all right because it's really easy cleanup. I just use a, a lighter and I just touch up all the areas that I see has, has the strings and it cleans it up real nice, real clean, and not too much time spent on cleanup. So I'll get you a close up of the print now and then we'll go ahead and get started printing the rim. I've gone ahead and loaded up the orange filament as that will be the color we use for the rest of this project, the hoop, the box, and the clips. I've gone ahead and loaded the files up as well on the CR10. I have the bed heating up currently as we speak, and once that's ready to go, we're going to go ahead and start out by printing the hoop. It should take about two hours, I believe, but printing at 80% speed, we can expect more like three. So let's get to it. All right, the hoop has just finished printing, so I'm really excited to see how it's going to fit inside the backboard. That came off really easily. I believe it has a little bit of supports, and we could take them off if we need to, but I think they're so small that it wouldn't even change the way it looks. So, now we have our backboard and our rim, and they are supposed to fit into each other. So let's see if that works. That is an excellent fit. Excellent fit. Perfect. Uh, the rest of the parts like the box on the backboard and the C clips that we're going to put for us to attach our net. We're going to print those all in one shot. Just give it one go so that the next time that we come back, the print should be complete. So see you then. We're back and the basketball hoop is finally complete. I'm really happy with the way this project turned out. As you can see, we have the box finished and as well as the orange clips that are holding the net together on the rim are also complete. I've also attached some hot glue in places where necessary, like around the net, just so the uh, net wouldn't slip out and as well as where the rim and the backboard meet, just to add some extra strength. There's nothing really left for us to do but to test it out. So let's have some fun. If you like what I've done in this video, go ahead and drop a comment down below and leave a like, as well as hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified the next time we have a 3D printing project. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time on The Warrior Show.